I've done is taped off my book. And this is a watercolor book. You can use watercolor. You can use mixed media. You can use whatever you want. You can just grab some paper and just create with me. Ooh, I feel like that all needs to be right now. I'm just going to wipe that off real quick because I don't know why that seems so. I just cleaned up all my brushes. All right. Let's just give this a background. I haven't fully decided what we're doing tonight. I feel kind of weird about that. I'm still standing better than I've ever been. Looking like a true survivor. Feeling like a little kid. Okay, I'm getting it. Yeah, still standing. So mixed media. Why would you prep it with gesso? Well, prepping the surface gives it more tooth. It gives it that surface that it can adhere to. Because I am going to be using acrylic paints. They're sherry. Let's see if this stays, video stays on. Yeah, you guys can give me your opinion. I've always gone um, live on both uh, 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 Rhymes with uh, Schmootube. <laughs> I don't want Facebook to kick me off. Um, so if you guys, it works better, you can go over to, uh, I'll slow down. Everybody, let's breathe. <sighs> My day has been so fast. I love the fact that sometimes you don't know what you're going to do and it turns out terrific. Well, sometimes it doesn't, but I actually, most of the time, my creative process is to create from the space I, I'm in. And I don't want to lie about that. You know, um, if I'm in a good space, great. If I'm in a bad space, we'll adjust. All right. And what's a bad space? I don't know. Uh, there you go. So that was just prepping the surface. Gesso is a primer. I am going to... Oh. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. Okay. I am thinking now I do share the colors that I use. I'm just in my drawer. I like the YouTube plus it notifies in real time. Oh, there you go. All right. Well, you guys are finding me. That's the important thing. <coughs> I'm going to use acrylic. I try to give you um, uh, comparable colors. I, I'm not a, a color snob. I want you to use the colors that mean something to you. But if I go with um, some softer colors, and I might say, you know, just go with tans and neutrals. And I know all of you like the specific colors. I will try to list those. I do like the media paints from Deco Art. However, I have the Americana line behind me. So I try to give you the equivalents, all right? But if at any time you just want the specific paint combination, I am not that person. I can give you the exact colors when I do any type of challenges or that, but I just want you to find, like I'm going to say I'm going to use Titan Buff, which is like a cream color. Um, so I am going, I just cut a bug, and I'm going to use a, uh, cobalt teal hue, uh, Roan, did I say that right? Do you always work in portrait or do you go in landscape, escape? I do landscape a ton. I'm sorry. Did you want me to go landscape tonight? I do both. I, I don't care. I'll twist the book any which way. Did you want that? I was kind of prepped. I don't know why I was prepped this way. And then I feel like right now I need a little bit of something. Okay. Oh, I'm not feeling that. I'm not. I always show where I'm at because I just want some words. Okay, 
I'm going to try and put stuff away as I use it so I don't have to clean up a giant mess. I've already been live twice this morning. No, I work landscape. I work uh, portrait. I don't, yeah, there's no rules with me. There's, there's no, I, I always get paper pulling off with the painter's tape, even if I roll it off. Tracy, uh, with a uh, spelled correctly, uh, heat it up. Use a little hair dryer or heat gun. It also depends on the quality of your um, tape. Also depends on the quality of your paper. Is it mixed media or watercolor? Okay, this will make me happy. There we go. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just decided that just now. Use a heat gun. When I take this off, I'll show you. I'm gonna take some matte medium. I'm gonna try and not over. I have tennis elbow. I've been to the doctor. I have tennis elbow. It's bull pucky. I have artist elbow. But that's what I have. All right. I'll show you, Tracy. Stick with me, kid just because you spell your name absolutely correctly. Okay. I just decided this was not part of the plan. All right. So matte medium, which is also a sealer. And um, now if her name was Tracy with a, a, an I, and then she puts the um, heart over the top, I would do it a different way. I would tell her they're wrong. I'm kidding. For any of the Tracys with eyes and they put hearts over it, you guys are fine. I like you too. If you don't know, behind the scenes right now is Anne. She is uh, my community. And uh, Anne is Anne. She's my everything. She is behind the scenes as Tracy Wines Apple Studios. So if you have questions, if you're curious about what you need to get started in art journaling, we can help you. Um, just keep in mind, this is a relaxed, uh, this is just a demo. I don't deep dive. I'm using my fingers to work the kinks out. Okay. I thought this was going to... I don't know exactly what's zooming through the mind at the moment. We just met Anne. Yes, you did. Many of you have met Anne two or three times because she has been part of my world for quite a while. Look at me shutting all the lids as I go. So I said Titan Buff is like a cream colored. Um, just, I, I will list these colors. This is the Deco Art Media. I'm oh, sorry. I had <laughs> and um, this is dry, so I just I keep okay. No, I'm not letting it dry. I know for those of you who are like going nuts because I've just layered upon layer upon layer. I, I'm gonna give uh, um, I'm gonna give a good drying moment. I'll get, grab the heat gun, but I'm just going for it. That's the one thing about this. I just love Wednesdays. I'm kind of constrained by time. I believe that art can happen in moments. It can happen over time. I know the Sistine Ta Chapel took a, a, a long time. I've done lots of research about that. But... Sorry, I touched something the other day that I'm allergic to, and I know it's still having an effect on me. All right, so there we go. And the reason I'm, don't worry, I, I got little wrinkles because I matte medium that down, but I don't care. All right, I just poured myself a quarter of a glass of wine because I'm going to go to dinner. Now, that's very pretty. I 
I'm going to take a teal color. I love going back to a piece and building some things else into it. That's it. I, um, I'm going to continue to do that. So I tried to buy watercolor ground at two different stores today. They didn't know what I was talking about. Is there absorbent ground? Joanne, it can be called watercolor ground or absorbent ground. I listed that specifically in your artful journey. It's actually more so called absorbent ground that I've seen. I may be wrong. But that's what I've seen it. And then I've seen uh, golden has watercolor ground. So, okay. Uh, is there something else you can use if you don't have matte medium? Elmer's glue. You could also use a uh, decoupage. Elmer's glue dries clear too. I, I don't know the exact, uh, but decoupage. Yeah, I'm just throwing some teal in there. I, I don't have a direction. I'm a little nervous about that. <laughs> anyway. Now I just feel like it needs more teal because I just want that to look like it's naturally. All right. I'm going to make this full screen so you can see the whole thing. You see what I'm doing with the teal? I'm just using every bit of it. But I was debating. Now I'm seeing two, like a couple of things hanging. Like, okay. Sorry, I'm just getting. Hi, Karen. I feel like it's like a string hanging. I, I am, I'm just drawing in my mind. I know. A white magenta. White magenta. Okay. I use that same paintbrush. I just use like a three quarter inch round or flat. I'm sorry. Not right now. And, um, that was the same paintbrush I just used for the whole thing. But now I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw with my gesso. And I'm going to see if I can figure out what I'm thinking. And I'm thinking it's hanging down like on a vine. Okay. For those of you who say all I ever see you do is paint flowers. Well, there's a heart. And I'm not a heart person. So go ahead and, but I feel like it's hanging from something. Now why paint it in gesso? Just because it's gonna hide the background and that's what I'm feeling. And so it's my party. I will paint if I want to. I'll just form it. Now are we feeling, oh. Are we feeling a pyrrole red heart? Oh, this should have been, I really wanted this one down lower. Well, donkeys. You know what, just make it bigger. Okay, just make it bigger. Maybe magenta. Magenta would be a little bit softer. And let's do another one that's smaller right here. I don't know. Look, I can have two of them. And it's my party. Okay, and 
Do I want three of them or do I just want two of them? I could even do like navy blue or something. But this heart is over this heart. And then this heart, it could have been up a little bit. I don't care. There's going to be a vine coming. Could I just do two and be at peace with this? Oh, I'm getting three. I'm getting three. I'm getting three. How about a little guy just hanging in this corner? All right. Now I just want giant ass popsicle. Oh, giant. Sorry, mom. Sorry. My mom catches the videos on YouTube the next day. I do not want my mother to hear me swearing. Sorry, mama. Okay. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Okay. Done. I'm always odd numbers. I, I, I This would probably bother me. Now, I'm debating. What color? I'm feeling magenta. I am feeling like cobalt, like turquoise or something. Just go ahead, throw some colors out. So you can paint with gesso too. What are we doing? There's going to be a vine going up with black. Oh, coral, you guys, it's like a salmon color. Oh, okay. Orangey. Oh, orange is against my, um, well, I love my cobalt teal hue. Oh, I mean, I love my pyro red. I'm thinking, okay, you guys are going to knock me out. Okay. <gasps> what about magenta? Is that too much? Oh, that's Quinn magenta. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. Primary magenta. Uh, Prussian blue is coming in here. It's uh, burgundy. I could do a, a nice deep burgundy. Oh, okay. Hold on. Uh, okay. All right. All right. Just give me a second. Oh, oh, so stressful. Well, is poetic plum close? Is that poetic plum? Is that, that's not, where's burgundy? <laughs> Can Decor, can you just color name your colors? Okay. Cranberry wine. Burgundy wine. Oh, here. I'm looking. I'm looking. Don't yell at me. Deep burgundy. Oh, I found it. That's too. I want mulberry. Oh, this is stressing me out. Everything about this is stressing me out. Okay. All right. I, I'm dropping pyro red. I'm back to my cobalt turquoise hue. I feel like I'm going poetic plum. I, all right. I'm primary magenta. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Okay. I, we're, we're, we're landing here. We're landing here. Oh, oh, oh no. I'm changing my mind. I'm going to go. I'm feeling this. Quinn magenta. Nope. Still. No, I'm good. Okay. I can add gold over the top of this. All right, what do we do? All right, that's what we're doing. And if you don't like it. What do you know about deco work discontinuing all the paints? Oh, well, they didn't discontinue all the paints, and I do know stuff. However, just remember, all of my friends, paint companies do not discontinue their best-selling paints. What do they discontinue? The least-selling paints, okay? So they're not selling. That's they're not discontinuing all their paints. <laughs> I know what I I saw the panic mode go up in the air, and I don't. Uh, I, I have been accosted by the decorative painters who get very mad. They never discontinue the top sellers. That's not a thing. Nobody discontinues their top sellers. Okay, I'm thinking the plum here. Ooh. I might make a mistake. 
Hmm. I'm thinking. But yeah, I have the list. I took it off. Yeah. And they um, discontinued uh, brands that are the lines that are not doing well. Uh, I, I just always want to point that out to people. I'm going to go. Look, and I never even rinsed off my brush. Let's see what this does. Okay. Now, I am only going to go up to here because I realize that that's going to be in the front. So just give me a minute. There is a, like a small gnat in here. Yeah, um, I did notice they discontinued. There were a few paint lines that I knew they would discontinue. Well, I, I didn't know they were going to discontinue it. But I felt like I didn't enjoy those paints as much. <laughs> Judy says, I love the variety of paints. That is, this is my... Uh, that is my, is it, I'm sorry, guys. I know you said burgundy, and I feel like I plumbed it. Don't be mad at me. And I know I'm painting these backwards, but I did. Just give me a minute. I, I had to even switch brushes. Yeah, so I got the list, and I have my thoughts, but they're not the most, they're not the most, you know, um now I'm rethinking the magenta. I don't know how that's gonna look there. Okay, so it's gonna go up there. Let's try this here. Let's try what happens. Let's just see what happens. If all else fails and I don't like it, we'll just get rid of it. Okay. I I love when people paint and feel like it's stuck and you're never going to be able to change it. No, that's not how it works. Okay. Give that a little. But I love that I'm going to do this in here. Okay. This will make sense in a minute, I hope. I hope it makes sense overall when I'm done. Yeah, I think they discontinued the... Um, I want to say the suede. Okay. There was one color on the Americana list that I went, huh? I need to like research that one. And it was Payne's Gray. And am, am I wrong? I just scanned it. Yeah. And, and by the way, I I always feel like um this is why I don't lock myself into colors. And I always tell you guys, pick out and use what you guys love. Don't, this could be three hearts in any color combination that you love. So I always say you can switch it up. That's it. What do you think? I think okay. I feel like I should have stenciled something in the background, but I'm just going to continue to layer up this paint a little bit. And that is something that I know with instructions and painting. It's, but I always love that the decorative painters, um, and I, th this is a, a thing that I noticed, that they get very upset, but I always want to point out uh, they're not discontinuing the best sellers, but Payne's Gray. Uh, it's not, I think I, I, I might be wrong on that list. You know what? I have the list. Hold on. I have the list. I printed it up. I printed it up because as a, as a, as a business, as a painter, you don't want to use colors that people can't get. Um, but I will say, and I thought, hold on. Oh, go. Oh, did I just use a color? No, that's not. Um, Payne's Gray. See, right here. Payne's Gray, right there. There were a couple of surprises, but yeah, that just happens. I know, I'm not yelling at anybody, but I could actually make Payne's Gray. We can talk about that. We'll find a way. We'll find a way. What do you think? 
I'm sure we'll find other colors that you love. And this is what they do. Yeah, it is totally easy to mix. Okay. I love my decorative painters. I actually think Karen and Jeannie and Akani, they'll all just mix in. Listen, it's in there. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. I don't know. Don't yell. Oh. Thank you for asking my opinion about that. Uh, I have a funny story. Early on when I was working with Deco Art, I was with a at a decorative painter show, and I got in the elevator. I didn't know what to expect. I had never met anybody, and I had a Deco Art shirt on with my name badge, and all of a sudden, I was in the elevator, and um, uh, they uh, I remember exactly. It was in Chicago. And uh, they not accosted me, but they were like, I can't believe. And I was like, ladies, all I need is my coffee, not my coffee, yeah, my tea first thing in the morning. And and I didn't know how to, uh, I wasn't prepared. Nobody said to me, people would be upset about the color discontinuation situation. I didn't get the warning. I didn't get the memo. And I asked them all to revisit this when I got off the elevator and had my tea and was waking up at a reasonable time frame. So I'll never forget that. They were lovely women uh, and I survived. But here's the thing, they're never gonna discontinue the tap sellers. But they're always wanting to come out with new colors and colors that appeal to younger generations with much more funky, funny names and all that good stuff. Um, that's the part about art. It's ever shifting. It happens all the time. So I would say as a, a general rule, just be prepared to pivot and um, not set yourself in such a space. This is black, <laughs> black, carbon black. Don't set yourself in a space that you can't get out of or make and pivot and find different things that work for you. Okay. That's all I'm going to say about that. All right. We survived. We survived. And there's other, like, you know, I know I can't say it, but there's other paint colors, you know, you can, you can, I am just going to, uh, go around my lovely little cards. Okay. I'm using, you can use a Posca paint marker. You can use, make sure if you're using like a Sharpie or anything like that, make sure that your paints are dry. Uh-oh. Like a small little gnat in here. Oh, he did. Okay, he's gone. Uh, make, uh, when you're using acrylic paint, I have a little bit of leeway here because the acrylic goes well over the acrylic. So it's okay. Just gonna zone in for a minute and relax. What do you think? They're hanging from a rope. They're hanging from a line. I don't know if these are going to be black leaves. I don't know what I'm doing right now, but. I don't know if they have color yet. They're just hanging. Okay. So again, if you're more comfortable with just a, a marker, you can do that. I just thought I would 
draw them out with a paintbrush. Yeah, I always laugh when companies make decisions and people get really upset. And then I think, well, did you buy the product? And they're like, no, I'm just upset about it. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. you, you're really going to have a vested interest in this. But yes, I know. We all get. There we go. What do you think? They're all just hanging. They're just hanging. Hanging out. <sighs> Are they colored? I don't know. Give me a second to figure this out. I made them so large. I could definitely add some like color to this. Y'all want, I feel maybe this green, oh, maybe green gold. And then I mix it with the black. Okay, maybe I don't let this dry. I just do, all right, I am, I am, I'm winging it kids. Okay. The leaves are still wet, so, okay, if they, okay, that's fine, yep, I decided, yep, see, the leaves, see how wet that was, yes, that's fine, yes, good to go, literally, like, that's just, that black is being added by the fact that it's wet. That's okay with me. I'm not, I'm not gonna go, like uh, this Irish moss would be another uh, color that's in. I'm most familiar with the deco art line. So don't get mad at me if I don't know what plaid's colors are. I'm sure I got some girls on here who could tell you, but I am just, I feel like that looks like an apple or something, but no, I'm just, yeah. It naturally shaded itself. I don't have to worry about it. Okay. I feel like they look like little apples hanging, but they're not, so I'm sorry. I do share all the colors I use, and I do provide links to stuff. Um, I am a decor maker, and I have a discount code, so if you're interested in that, uh, I, I don't, uh, I don't, I, I am paint agnostic. I, I do use other paints. I don't work for anybody. It's me, myself, and I. Just adding a little bit more to my. But yes, I used to work with Decor, so I know their paints the best. Now, it's 616. It's about the time I say, listen. We're going to wrap this show up. Uh, I just do demos on Wednesday night. This is not a deep dive. I hope you always enjoy. I'm going to finish this. I never leave anything unfinished. I put all the materials aside and I list them all. I'm debating what's going to I'm going to do a Prussian blue hue because it's one of my favorite colors around the edge. And then I am going to do some more shading with uh, something. I'll figure that out in a minute. Um, I'm just looking for like this little cheap chip brush. Okay. We're just going to 
dust around things. I you can sign up for my newsletter because I saw Anne was diving right in. Thank you, Anne, very much. I love to come in and just kind of dust up the edges. It just and, and keep in mind we're gonna remove this tape. It's you know it's it's around there. Oh yeah. Um, this is just a faint, like just a faint. I know it doesn't even seem like I'm hitting the paint, but I am. This chip brush is like the most inexpensive thing at a hardware store. Anything that's coarse and real dry will work. Yeah, I'm just going to come in and give that a dusting. And then I'm going to take my aquarellable pencil. All right. Oh, well, that was a lot. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Just go ahead and just very softly. Killing me softly like his wounds. Na, 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 na. Roberta Flack. Okay, let's put this aside. This is an aquarellable pencil. I'm gonna blend it in. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna add a little bit more to. Oh, whoops, not that much. Jeez, oh, Pete. I gotta make sure some of this paint is still wet because I just went for it. But this is what I like about when you do stuff like this with the texture. Um, are you guys liking the idea that I shift a little bit and I go every other? So you'll know that I'll do watercolors and I will do, I just have been blending a lot. Ooh, okay, it's pretty dry. Um, I, I want your feedback. I want to know what you want to, you want to see, you know, I am on that way. I care. I listen my, your artful journey members, they lead my world. I, I kind of was thinking just to mix it up a little bit because sometimes, you know, it's nice to know that next week I'll just have my watercolors. Okay. See, I love. I mean, what do you think? Now, I still have to take all this tape off. I'm just, I continue to just, I just continue to. I realize the one thing is, um, People, you guys just shift with me. You just roll with the punches. And ultimately, um, I appreciate that. I started out so light and delicate. And then I feel like, oh, I want something in here. Okay, just give me a second. I want something in there. Oh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. This is just me. Hold on. What is this? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just in this mood. I'm grabbing this stencil. Is it this stencil that I want? No, hold on. I'm grabbing a stencil. I'm going to grab this one. No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> And then I'm done. 
I promise. Okay, this is from Jelly Arts. I can give you the link. Uh, Tanya, I will give you the link on my resources page. Just give me a second. I will. I'll give you that. I can give you the direct link. Okay. I just decided last minute that I, yeah. Is that going to be enough? Okay. Hold on. I'm going to give you more than you ever wanted. It's called the Aquarellable Pencil. I, I think they do sell, I, I sold them at one time, but it became such a hassle because, um, uh oh, I don't know if I can find it on Amazon. Oh, there it is. Um, I recommend you just buy them from Amazon, but I tried shipping them and it became a giant nightmare. So yeah. Oh, good. Thank you, Anne, for giving my resources. All right. So I kind of want a little bit of a something, something in there. Yeah. And, and, and if I want a something, something, I'm going to put it in there. Guess what? Because that's who I am. Uh, I need my stencil brush. Yes. I'm just going to do it black, I thought. I think I'm just going to do it right here and see what happens. I mean, maybe it's not that good. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to lift it up. Oh, yeah, she did. She did. Okay. Okay. This has just a little bit of texture in there. Just a little bit. Now, it wasn't exactly what I wanted. I'm happy. But I'm going to get happier. I, I'm just going to open up all the various stencils that I have in my little... Uh... I just want my flower. I want like writing or something. These these are new stencils from <laughs> Jelly Arts. They sent me so. Ugh, sorry. I'll make sure and list these. And I have a discount code to Jelly Arts. It's Tracy W. Anytime you order from Jelly Arts, I work for them. Oh yes. See. Oh. Okay. Let's see this. See. Oh, I should have done this right off the bat. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. And then I'm just going to give this a little bit of a yes and a yes. Yeah, that's all I needed. And then I'm going to go right in here with this. Uh, uh No, 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 no. This has just a ton of stuff in it. All right. There we go. Yep, I'm happy. That's... That's all she needed. And then I'm going to take some white, some white. Does anybody know where my white went? Yes, it's right here. Oh, I could do a paint marker too. I'm almost done. It's 625. Listen, if you're going to get a mixed media piece in less than an hour, life is not that bad, right? I'm going to grab this. Oh, nope. All I'm going to do is just give a little bit of fun loving around my, uh, let's wait for the tape reveal because I want to make sure that I said to Tracy, you could just use a heat gun and all would be good. Oh, oh I just went into the green. Went into the green. Don't go into the green. Okay. There we go. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? It's not perfect. It's fine. It's lovely. It's done its job. It's sending the message. I'm happy. I'm relaxed. I will make sure I give links to everything. And let's take off the... Uh, let me, uh, let me, uh, enter here. Oh, no. Hi. <laughs> no, I don't want to be here. Uh, let's do this. There we go. It's been a while since I just, 
Oh, yeah. Tracy, do you see what I'm doing? Heating this business up. Pulling it at a 45 degree angle. Oh, yeah. She just slides right off. What time is it? 6.27. I still have three minutes. Did you learn anything? Did you enjoy it? Did you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, better be careful I'm not. Okay. Done dealy O. What do you think? I feel like we're done. 